Hey guys, welcome back to another DirectX engine tutorial. In the last tutorial, we did uh, entity class. It was simple, nothing huge going on. And in this tutorial, we're going to do a manager that will manage all our entities. So let's continue. And yeah, uh, you want to go open up your entity header file. We're going to do some modifications in here since our class is going to, our manager is going to manage it. And see, we can have a manager. We don't want to call new entity. We want to call entity manager to add our entity. So what you want to do is just from public remove the constructor and move it down to to private. So that way we don't call new on it because we don't need it. So under public, you want to say Frank Frank class entity manager. You may not have the class yet. I'm not sure if it's gonna crash because I don't have it yet. I guess I guess it doesn't, guess it doesn't really matter if I have it yet or not. But this is what this does is basically we are able to call our constructor. So when you call friend class inside an entity, we're able to call new new inside our entity manager class, which we will create eventually. So without further ado, let's create an entity entity manager. Uh, so we want to create add class. And I'm going to call it entity manager. So to you guys how you want to call it. Entity manager it already exists. Did I already create it? Maybe I never. Hold on. How does it exist? All right, I have no idea what the hell is going on. That's I just added individually. So add. I'm not sure if you guys are getting the same error, but if you guys are. I just created a new item and created a header file individually and the CPP file individually. I don't know what the hell is going on there. But anyway, once you have created your entity manager class, in here you want to add some includes. Make sure we want to add um, our entity. We also want to include. I don't need those curly braces. Oh, I mean quotation marks, whatever. I want to include vector. I want to call using namespace std. Once you have that, you want to go to call a function void update. I have a void of render id 3d 11 device context. Device context. Pass in D3DX matrix. Uh, view matrix. D3DX matrix. Uh, projection matrix. You want to call have an entity pointer. And have an add entity. Which is just going to create an entity. You also. You really want to do this? No, I don't. I guess I'll just leave it like that. Should I? There's no way you're gonna create. Yeah, there's no way. Never mind. Forget, I'm rumbling on my own, talking to myself. Anyway, if you wanna create another void remove entity, and you're gonna pass an entity pointer, that, the entity that we wanna remove. And we're gonna call it Boolean and say call delete. Basically, what this is doing is saying if once you remove it, do you want to call delete on it or not? Maybe there's times you don't want to call delete. Maybe you do. I don't know. Just just want to have it there just in case, you know. You never know if you're going to need it or not. And we'll have to say void remove all entities. Entities. And same thing here. You want to call delete on all of them. I'm sort of true because, I mean... I mean, should I? You know what? You don't even need that. Let's call delete it all the time. If you guys don't want to call delete, I mean, you could update into you, you could update that in the future. So let's not call delete. Uh, you want to call bull? Have another function called bull contains entity. And just pass an entity you want to check for. Make sure it's a pointer though. And you have another one, bool contains entity. 
but this one's it's gonna be a little bit different entity and this is gonna return our index where maybe you want to call it and you want to know what index it, it actually it contains it at and we want to have a static entity manager pointer get instance then we want to have a private in here let's move our constructor down here because we don't we only want to have one entity manager um you want to have a vector and which will contain our, our entities And make sure we also call a static entity manager pointer M instance. So that's it for our header. I mean, our header. Yeah, our header file. What I'm talking about. That's it. Just not a lot of things going on here. Let's go to our CPP file, shall we? Alrighty. So, like always, I went ahead and did all the classes. I mean, all the functions in the CPP file. So inside the CPP file, make sure you call it uh, the static instance on top, set it to null, and then nothing in the constructor that in right now, and the destructor, make sure you call remove all entities. So inside our update, we want to do a for loop, uh, int i equals zero. Let's say i is less than int m entities dot size. Plus plus I. Uh, you know another thing we can do actually instead? Call int size. Let me just set it to that at the moment. And set it here. So you want to say M entities. I can call the update. You're gonna call the update there. We're gonna copy this entire thing again. You wanna put it in render, and instead of calling rend I mean update, you wanna call render. And just passing all the, the stuff that we need. U matrix and projection matrix. Simple as that. Entire at entity. So we wanna do entity pointer entity. Equals new entity, and we want to add it to the list. The pushback entity, and we want to return the entity. Okay, so in our remove entity, we want to check to see if this entity is null. We want to make sure this actually contains something before you continue. So if it equals null, then we want to just return. Otherwise, uh, we want to get an int index. I guess you could set it at negative one. And just say if contains entity, you want to pass in the entity and the index. And if it contains it, then just call um, entities. I erase m entities dot begin plus index and we want to delete entity so that's all we have to do for that for remove all entities you want to say wow m entities empty or oh, not empty forgot to put the not at the beginning make sure you put the not at the beginning oh it's not empty you want to uh, empty Entity equals m entities is zero. M entities erase. Entities dot begin. We want to erase the first one in the list and delete entity. Um, for our contains entities, it could be really simple. We're just gonna loop through all of them int size equals int m entities well, I have no idea what the hell happened there entities dot size 
I don't know what happened here. So I'm gonna do a for loop and i equals zero, i is less than size, plus plus i, not all. And then you wanna check if m entities of i equals entity. And if it does, return true. Otherwise, return false. And for the other one, you want to do the same exact thing. Just this one will contain our index. Let's officially set index to equal negative one at first. And if it does contain it, then let's say index equals i. And then return true. So anyways, once after you after you create your instance, um, basically this is set. This is our our entity manager is not something, it's a really simple one. I feel like it's better than the one I created back in DirectX 9. I'm not saying it was that bad of a one, but this one's just a little bit better. Um, and then that, one was, that one was an array. I could have done an array here too, but that will be a lot longer, the functions. It will be super long, because then I have to remove it from the list, and then rewrite the array, and resize the array, I mean. And there's a lot of confusion going on there, so I didn't want to do that. Um, but anyway, this is our entity manager. It's really simple. Uh, now we want to test it because right now it's going to crash because we called a new entity earlier, or it should crash. Oh, have an uh, error. If not, then yeah, there we go. So it's because we want to create a new uh, entity. We don't want to do that anymore. So when we go to entity engine, instead of calling the entity, you want to say manager. Instead, I guess you could keep entity there for now. Entity pointer um, entity manager and in our engine cpp file, I guess you want to call. I guess you know what doesn't really matter because we're not gonna keep entity manager in here, should we? But it's our engine, so I guess, yeah, never mind, I'll keep it here. Entity manager equals no. Um, Make sure you call delete. This is the reason why we, I didn't need delete anymore. I mean the release function anymore. Because I could do this too. So, um, but that's it. I mean, it's not that yet. No, not yet. <laughs> um, so what we want to do, we want to say entity manager, entity manager, get instance. So instead of saying new here, we want to add, um, add entity. And instead of calling update, we don't need update anymore. We want to call our entity manager update instead. And here, instead of entity, will all, all be our render of our, our entity manager. So in this case, this should work now. I hope. All right. Let's cross our fingers. Yeah, oh boy. Woo! So there you go. This. Oh, never mind. It crashed. Delete sprite. Oh, I'm calling delete. Am I calling delete on sprite too? Hold on. I might call delete sprite twice. But anyway, it should not go here. Hold on. Let's see. It does not go. No. I should not. See, it did crash. Okay, I don't know why we crash when it's no, but anyway, and the reason being is because I forgot to call delete because we don't need to call delete our entity anymore since our entity manager is going to do it for us. Hey, right? There you go. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for our entity manager. Wow, I thought it was going to be a longer tutorial actually. But it's good that's short. I wanted to keep it that way. Um, the majority of the f engine is done. The major things that I wanted to have in here. The next stuff is just more cleanup and have a player, have something moving moving around. Um, so that's the next thing. You know, we want to create a game component class where we can same thing that it did in OpenGL. So if you remember, I created a game component which will be our scene. Will be our uh, our game manager scene or game scene or whatever which our engines gonna be 
um, controlling, I guess you could call. But yeah, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to carry a gink opponent. And after that, the gink opponent is going to be really short. So I may include do player, the player stuff in there as well. And input. So input is a really short thing to do. I mean, it may take a while. may may be a separate tutorial, actually. Because it is a long one because I have to initialize our key our keyboard stuff and mouse state and all that kind of stuff so but yeah that's it it's not really majority of the engines done so you know after this you don't have to keep watching it anymore you know you could create all your own stuff now but if you want to keep watching it you know you want to clean it up a little bit more i guess you want to I, i'd say you keep watching it so anyways i don't want to delay this video even further so i'll end it here i hope if you guys like this video thumbs up let other people know about it if you have feedback on things that i could do a lot better or I could have done something better. Let me know. I love the feedback. I, I I get to learn from this process too. You know, you know I'm not the greatest programmer out there because I'm not. So, you know, I'm just here helping you guys out. I hope you guys, I hope you guys could appreciate that. You know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I hope you guys like it. Like I, like I said, you know, feedback is always appreciated. So, you just don't be mean about it. You know, I had a lot of mean people back in the day, so, man, but whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Thumbs up. Tell the people about it. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Signing out. Sayonara.